The good old valley. Located in the northern half of the Los Angeles County, the urbanized San Fernando Valley has become so well known over many decades. Celebrities have been flocking to the valley as of late. For the slightly less expensive real estate you can buy and the amount of land you can own for the same price as living in the city. Although it's about 10 degrees hotter in the valley than if you lived over the hill, it's a fantastic place to raise a family, put your kids to school, or live a peaceful, wholesome lifestyle while still being in Los Angeles. I would know because I actually grew up in the valley, born and raised, I was put through elementary school, middle school, high school in the valley. I know tons of people out there still. My family lives in the valley and I had a great experience and childhood while living in the valley. But what's going on you guys? My name is Darren Kriz and on this channel we are giving you all things Los Angeles, more information, more detailed videos about all things LA. I'm a real estate agent. I was born and raised out here and every single day I help people buy, sell, rent and invest in property here in LA. So if that's you or someone you know, my information is down in the description. So maybe you're thinking about moving to the San Fernando Valley Valley, but aren't sure what parts are for you. Well, the valley is massive and can get a little bit overwhelming and feel like a completely different world if you're coming from other parts of Los Angeles or from out of state. But I'd say many people in the valley do not know the ins and outs street by street like I would say I do myself. People living in LA mainly think of the valley as the locations just south of the 101 freeway which is also known as the higher end parts of the valley. Also parts of the hills in the valley tucked south of Ventura Boulevard. These neighborhoods include Calabasas, Woodland Hills, Tarzana, Encino, Sherman Oaks, Studio City. And yes, many families do live in these suburban neighborhoods of the valley. You might even recognize some of those names I just listed off from your favorite TV shows, such as the Kardashians. They have many houses in Calabasas and in Hidden Hills, which is a completely different city in itself. And now here's a little secret for you guys. Speaking of reality TV shows, so the real housewives of Beverly Hills, most of the cast in the show don't even live in Beverly Hills. A lot of them have their houses in the valley, in Encino. Many celebrities are living in Encino because, like I said, of the larger houses you can buy, the more land you can own, while still being very close to Beverly Hills. But if you're watching on your TV, you wouldn't have known that, and, and there's not much need to, really. Obviously, you get a lot more bang for your buck in the valley. All right, now let's talk about east of the 405 freeway. So if you're in these areas like Encino, Calabasas, you're going to be taking the 101 down south the 405 if you want to get to the west side or to Beverly Hills, West Hollywood areas. You go over the hill through the 405 or Laurel Canyon, Coldwater Canyon. But those two streets are east of the 405. So east in the valley, still south of the 101 freeway. Yes, I'm mentioning a lot of numbers, a lot of freeways. That's just part of being an Angelino. You're going to name a lot of numbers to get to specific places. That might have just been a foreign language to you guys. I don't know. Hopefully you kind of understood with the maps and the visuals that I'm putting up here. But so east of the 405 freeway, we have Sherman Oaks and Studio City. I would typically say these are more younger cities. If you're living in LA in your 20s, moving out to the valley, you're probably gonna live in Sherman Oaks or Studio City because of the newer apartment buildings that they've been building in those areas, such as the Boulevard, we have the Avalon, and because of some bars and restaurants that are on Ventura Boulevard, the heart of Sherman Oaks and Studio City. To name a few, we have the Sherman Laurel Tavern, there's a Granville, there's a House of Billiards that I used to go to when I was a bit younger. Many pool tables to enjoy with your friends. Medici Pizza right on Ventura Boulevard. Highly recommended. Phenomenal pizza and an even better vibe. There's a large olive tree in the center of the restaurant. Studio City is a great place for someone that's just starting out in LA, just trying to find themselves, trying to find their career. If you want to work as a server and you don't have that much money to spend to live in West Hollywood, definitely living in Studio City would give you a good base to find a location and, and find your fit in this city. You get a little bit cheaper rent, but still have everything you would want to do nearby. It's also just a quick 10 minute drive on the 101 freeway down south into Hollywood, into West Hollywood, if you want to go, if you want to venture south into the city. All right, enough of this south of the 101 freeway. Let's go north because that is where the majority of the people living in the valley are. And if you've made it this far in the video and have learned anything whatsoever, please just give this video a like. It really helps the algorithm out and I really appreciate it, guys. I will be making more specific videos on each neighborhood in the valley in the future, so stick around for that and subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to get more information, more details on all things LA. All right, let's just start with the entire west side on this map that you'll be seeing here. So we've got the 118 freeway on the northern end and you see Bell Canyon on the very west side, technically still in the valley, but it's actually part of the Ventura County. So you get cheaper property taxes in Bell Canyon. But Bell Canyon is 
a big community. It's more of a hidden hills type. Whereas in an equestrian community, you get giant lots, acres and acres, but it's gonna cost you millions and millions of dollars. There's a lot of celebrities that live in Bill Canyon. One notable one being Joe Rogan until he moved off into Austin, Texas. So Topanga Canyon is probably, aside from Ventura Boulevard, one of the main streets in the valley. It takes up the entire west side. You can go from the 118 freeway all the way down to the 101 here. And it'll take us straight through to the Westfield Mall. There are two notable malls in this section of the valley. You have the Westfield Mall over in Woodland Hills and you have the Northridge Mall in Northridge, which is next to Cal State Northridge or CSUN for short. A very large university, public school. Many people go to CSUN that live in the valley. And the Northridge Mall is a great mall too. I used to spend a lot of time there in the Northridge Mall when I was younger. But the Westfield Mall is a newer mall. They also have the Village and there was an AMC just south of the Village. They just shut it down about a year or two ago. So this entire parking lot, this entire mall of what used to be a mall, there was an AMC here, is going to be taken over by the Rams. And they're gonna build their big practice facilities here, which is why Sean McVay, Matt Stafford have bought houses in Hidden Hills because it's just a short about 10, 15 minute drive in that direction. Now let's talk about the central part of the valley, just south of Northridge. We have Winnetka, Reseda, Van Nuys, Lake Balboa, and Canoga, known as a little bit lower end areas, just because the real estate's a little down, but there are still many good schools and high schools in these parts. Growing up in the valley, I definitely have friends that have grown up in every single city in the valley and that have gone to every single one of these high schools. This central heart of the valley, it's very suburbial. It's pretty much just all houses throughout in this little square box that you're gonna see west of the 405, south of the 118, north of the 101, and east of Topanga Canyon. It's a lot, a lot of directions, a lot of numbers, but let's just move on to north of the 118. So we got Chatsworth in the northwest. It actually extends up above the 118 freeway. There is a community called the Hidden Falls Estates where a lot of celebrities live as well. It's a very nice community. You're in the hills, so you could have some views in some of the lots, bigger homes, gated community, guard gated. Some notable celebrities that have lived here or currently live there are Smokey Robinson, Todd Gurley, some rappers YG, Polo G, Sway Lee. Wow, that all, that, that all just rhymed. That was a coincidence, didn't even think about that. Right besides Chatsworth, we have Porter Ranch. And if you're familiar with myself or my other YouTube channel where I tour luxury houses, I filmed over 30 model homes in Porter Ranch and I think they're, I've done them all. So there are about 30 model homes in Porter Ranch. I've filmed house tours at every single one of them. Toll Brothers, a development company, has built about a dozen communities that range from about $1 million to $4 million. So the entire city of Porter Ranch is really just up and coming. The communities are almost fully built out and complete. There's also a large outdoor mall where they have a Whole Foods, Nordstrom, a few bars, nice restaurants, which weren't there about five plus years ago. This That entire parking lot and outdoor mall used to just be a dirt lot. From back in the day when I was a kid, all I remember about that lot are people setting up chairs to watch the fireworks on 4th of July. Literally, that's all I knew about it. One day a year, that lot will get used for 4th of July fireworks. But now it's a huge outdoor mall because there are so many houses, so many different communities, so I'm sure it gets used up a lot. As we keep going, you have Granada Hills, Silmar, Mission Hills, mainly suburbs once again. We don't have to go directly into it, but like I said, I'm gonna be doing full videos on every single one of these cities in the future. I'm gonna go over the history, the details, how it got its name, and just everything in between just to give you full videos on every city in the Valley, in Los Angeles. We're just gonna cover it all. So now I'll check out this section here from San Fernando to Pacoima, south through Valley Glen and the 405 and 118 freeways. These would have to be the lowest ends of the Valley. The homes and rents are more affordable for a reason. There might be a little more crime, maybe a little more homelessness than the top tier areas such as the Encino Sherman Oaks. So when it comes to safety, these might not be the best areas to live in, but still, I know a lot of people that were born and raised in these areas and don't have anything bad to say. There, there's good you can find in every single city. Don't play the victim mentality. I'm sure wherever you live, wherever you find will be the right situation for you. But with that being said, those are not the best cities to live in. Let's go a little farther out. Let's go Sunland, Sun Valley, Tahunga. A little further out away from everything, more so getting closer to the desert. When I was young, all I knew about that area, and this is a 210 freeway that cuts through those cities, all I knew about it was a shortcut to get to Dodger Stadium without having to go through the 405 or the 101 and sitting in traffic going to uh, watch Dodger games. My family was season ticket holders back when I was younger. We'd go to several games. Even though it was a shorter distance to take the 405 or the 101 to Dodger Stadium, going around, taking the 210, sometimes you gotta 
innovate here in LA and find better ways to avoid the uh, the heavy part of traffic. Okay, last but not least, let's go over to Burbank and Glendale. A lot of you guys, I'm sure, are familiar with those two cities. Both major cities in Los Angeles. Everyone knows about Burbank and Glendale. Burbank is known as the media capital of the world because Warner Brothers Studios is directly in the center of Burbank, as well as tons of filming locations here, such as from La La Land, Top Gun, Batman Returns, and many, many more, I'm sure. Glendale is best known for its large mall, the Americana, which was designed by the same person that designed the Grove. It has a very similar look. If you were in the Grove or the Americana in Glendale, you would probably think you're in the same place. So the Grove is in the heart of the city, right next to West Hollywood and the La Brea area. But both Burbank and Glendale have plenty of single family housing. They also have lots of apartments and you're pretty centrally located in LA. They both have their own separate downtown areas with anything you could imagine. Both just a quick hop on the freeway to get to downtown or to get anywhere you need. All right, I hope I could get as much info for you guys into this video as I could about every single part of the valley. Like I said, I'm gonna be going over every individual city on their own to go more in depth. Being born and raised here, I absolutely love talking about the valley. I feel like I know it like the back of my hand. I can talk about it all day. So if you like this video, hit the like button, please. If you wanna learn more about Los Angeles, hit the subscribe button. Also, like I said, I'm a real estate agent out here. I help people every single day buy, sell, rent, and invest in real estate out here in the city, in the valley. If you're looking to move, if you have any questions, reach out to me. My information is down below in the description. I'm always happy to help no matter what, and I'll see you guys in the next one.